Ben. He is a student at the Chicago Academy of the Arts. You are officially the youngest performer with the Blue Man Group. How does that feel? Is that kind of crazy? Is, are you living a dream? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I never, I never expected it. I'll tell you that uh, it was, it was kind of a shot in the water when I auditioned, and I couldn't be happier now. You know, it's, everyone there is so great. It's a great organization. Tremendous. So how did it happen? I know you've been studying music and playing instruments uh, basically your whole life, but how did this opportunity present itself? Well, uh, one of the musicians at Blue Man Group who plays uh, Chapman Stick, uh, he was a teacher of mine a long time ago when I was six, seven, eight maybe, uh, and he sent me a message on Facebook and said, hey Luke, there's this open call audition for drummers down here and uh, I think you should come give it a shot. And I was like, why not? And I ended up getting the gig. So. Did you ever imagine at this age you would be doing this? I mean, this is an international phenomenon, this show, and you're a part of it now. Yeah, I, I didn't know what I was going to be doing, but I definitely didn't expect to be doing this, you know? So. <laughs> Maybe hanging out with your friends yeah. after school? Yeah, yeah, yeah like right. That. Like most 17-year-olds right, are doing, yeah. Right. So tell us what your, your life is like. You play in the Blue Man Group three, four times a week, and you're still going to school, right? You're a senior at, tell me again? Uh, Chicago Academy for the Arts, okay. yeah. And you recently did an understudy for the Goodman Theater's rendition of uh, White Snake, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's true. So you're a bit, I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on here. I <laughs> do, yeah, quite quite a bit of things. Uh, but it, you know, I would rather be uh, way too busy doing things that I love than not doing anything at all. You know. Pretty wise for a 17-year-old. Listen <laughs> well to said. you. Well said. What do your friends think of this? What do they say when you know they're all hanging out and you go, "Oh, I'm sorry, I've got a performance at the Goodman tonight. Well, Can't hang out." I mean, most of my friends are musicians. I'll say that. So a lot of them are just really supportive. Um, my best friends definitely are all musicians. So. They're just happy for me, you know, we love to support each other. We're, we're looking at some uh, photos that uh, you sent in of, of you over the years uh, playing drums and uh, it, it's, it's pretty cool to watch and I wonder, as, as you developed your interest in music, what, what is the, the long-term goal here? I mean, what do you see yourself doing in the next few years, you know, beyond Blue Man Group? Do you want to be in a rock and roll band or what, what is it? Well. Uh, First and foremost, I just love music, and that's the most important thing to me. As long as I can make a career out of playing music, I don't really care what it is. Um, something diverse, something where I'm playing, preferably, you know, whether that be a band or whether that be just being a studio musician, you know. As long as I'm playing and can support myself, that's that's what matters. Yeah. Really, two key factors, supporting yourself and playing, not yeah. living in the parents' basement, right? Exactly. <laughs> what has been the most surprising thing to you, I guess, when you started this? It has to be very cool to see a lot that happens behind the scenes. What, what surprised you? Man, it, it, um, how uh, unbelievable all of the people that work at Blue Man Group are, you know, because coming in there as someone that was 17 or 16 at the time is, I didn't, you know, they had a right to to kind of be sketchy about me coming in there. Mm. And everyone was super warm and super welcoming to me. And that's been the biggest surprise, I would say. Mm. Yeah, really. And how's that face paint thing? What is that like they put on you? Is that hard to get off or how does that work? I mean, it, it gets itchy sometimes, I'll say <laughs> that. But no, I, I you know, I. They're cool about it. We get to paint our own faces, the musicians, okay. and, and it's not that hard to get off. Just okay. a little soap and water. And you said yours <laughs> right. is red and orange or red and yellow? Red and yellow differs. Neon. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool. She's always fun. That's the makeup I was wearing in high school, too. So don't worry about that. <laughs> well, Lucas, great to meet you. Uh, congratulations well. on your success, and uh, keep it going. Thank I'm you sure so much. sure we'll be much. hearing about you far into the future. So uh -huh. thanks for coming oh. in, Luke. Thank you. All right. Next here on Good Day, the fight for peace.